Welcome back. Just updated maplemotors.com. Getting ready to do a walk around. Let's get it. Welcome back guys, Nick up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee, and uh, we updated this week after a big snowstorm that hit all of Tennessee, well half the nation. So we didn't update with a huge amount of cars this week. We do have a lot ready, but it'll be put on next week. But we're still going to walk through the lot and I'm going to show you what's available, what is sold. I know we sold a lot of cars. Um, since the last time that i've seen y'all so check out maplemotors.com we do have finance and all of our inventory is listed on there we mark it sold when they sell and i mark the videos sold on here on youtube whenever i sell a car but i'll leave previous inventory up so that you can check it out and see what we got in as of right now let's just walk around the lot point out the new cars here's one right here We just put this one back on. It's available again. We'll start up here in the front. I do have financing and shipping available for you, so go there, check it out. Hit subscribe and watch the test drives where we pick out the flaws of all these cars. This one right here was a 1952 Ford Custom. And we got it listed for 15 .9. Coming up next to that one. 1956 Bel Air. That's a four speed car, 27.9. It's got the hold on the windshield. Somebody is currently trying to pick this one up. Hold don't mean sold till the cash is out. So, right next to that, 1966 Dodge Cornet. That's a convertible, 26.9. This one is available right now. It's a 1964 Impala, four-speed, 27.9. Of course, we just got another one in sitting right over there. How about a 1968 Dodge Cornette? This is a RT car, 30,900. Right next to that, the 68 Plymouth Roadrunner, which is sold now. The Chevelle that's going out, 69 Chevelle, already sold. Rolling out the lot. And guys, we do have transportation. This is one of the transport companies getting ready to put the Chevelle on the car there. So check them out at our website. Right next to that, 1967 Pontiac Firebird. This one's an LS six-speed car, 32.9. Right next to that, 1973 Camaro, 25.9. What about the 1974 Plymouth Duster at 18.9? dressed up as a demon i know it does have different front end and tail lights but also the interior has been completely redone on that one aftermarket wheels this one right here is a 1968 pontiac firebird currently i believe it is on hold they don't have a price on the windshield out here so i'll have to check the website on this one currently so go to maplemotors.com it may still be available it may already be sold Right next to that, 1966 Mustang Convertible. This one's 24.9. Little Nova sitting here. It's a 65 Nova. 
exhaust kicked out on both sides and this one's 24 9 but it was already sold same with the old truck here i never got to put a video out on it and i believe it is already sold as well it was a 1932 ford didn't really make it to the website beautiful truck though they did like a farm style interior uh if it's unlocked i'll show you it's got like cowhide in it yeah yeah check that out how sweet is that okay all right so we're gonna go ahead and walk off into pops's hot wheels room and look at the rest of the lot i'll be right back so this right here is pops's hot wheels room check it out jim fights hot wheels channel here on youtube whenever it's just pouring down rain i come in here and start making videos of these cars right here collectors antiques oh i got some squeaky shoes today <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to head on back out to the car a lot here. Be sure to go to his Hot Wheels channel and hit subscribe. And we'll keep these videos coming your way. And of course, here in the showroom, we got a 1967 Nova. This one's 25.9. And it's set up for the strip. Pretty sweet car. Test drive video is out so you can watch the full video knowing everything about the car. Right here behind that, we've got the Corvette. And I believe this one's already sold, chrome bumper car. This was a 68 model with a four speed for 27.9. Everything else in here is not available currently. Uh, he's just parking that in here for the snow that we had all last week. That one's been sitting in here forever because Jason don't have any more room to put cars. <laughs> And same with this one. He owns this one as well. It's got a good look, but it is not for sale currently. All right, let's head on back out to the car lot. Gotta love the old bug. We got the bug sitting here at 12.9. It's a 1969 VW. This one has air ride. And you can see it's got the patina paint job. heading on back out front still waiting on that 70 chevelle to come back through we have a 70 chevelle that we just listed with a lt1 and a six-speed transmission and that's going to be pretty good for the update so kind of waiting on it to come back this is a 1972 chevelle sitting here 27.9 it is currently on hold that a guy call first thing this morning say he's going to be here tomorrow to check it out but as of right now it's just on hold hold don't mean sold to the rest of the cash is out i've already sold the blazer the 89 blazer sold for 14.9 and that was a pretty nice car it is considered an antique now I had some comments saying oh it's not an antique but it is it really is Makes you feel kind of old, don't it? <laughs> the 62 Impala is already sold as well. Even the wagon here is left out as a 60 model. We got 29, nine out of it. The guy just called this morning on this one, four door Chevelle. This was a 68 model and we sold it for 11.9. And sorry, I'm so showing a bunch of sold stuff. It's been a crazy week. This one's also sold, the Skylark. It was 14.9. Now we're coming up on some more stuff that is available so this one right here is available pontiac lemons 1967 model at 24.9 and then you got the 1964 impala sitting here i may have to look this one up because i don't remember the exact price he hasn't actually came out and put it on the window yet so give me two seconds as we look around on the car here and i'll find out what that price is the price on this one is 25.9 and the video is coming out today with all the weather and all the winter stuff that came through we've been closed for the last five days because 
I mean, there was nothing we could do. There was ice all over the lot. It was hard for us to even do the uh, test drives or even get a car out of the parking spots. This one right here is not on hold at the moment. It is currently available. Like I said, we just been out for a few days and he hasn't wiped the windshields on some of them. This one is a 1965 Impala convertible 27.9. So the whole policy here, we give people a few days to get financed, sometimes a week, up to a week, and you would send $1,000 down. It is a non-refundable deposit because once I put something like this or that on hold, people start to question, why hasn't it sold? You know, why is it still, why is it back on the lot? A lot of times people cannot get financed. Uh, they'll end up bagging out of the deal because of that. Or a lot of times it's just uncontrollable circumstances. But we do put out as much information on each car as we possibly can. That way, before you put it on hold, you know you're 100%. But it happens. Not very often, but it does happen. People will take them back off hold. Let's block the gate here. I don't want to buy pulling in and hitting the cars here. So we created an about us section at maplemotors.com and I want you to go check that out. It tells you all about the company. We are family and we've been here almost 40 years. As you can see, we do have a transport company back there that I was showing you just a second ago. We'll go backwards with our, our walk and just kind of glance through all of the cars we've already passed. I know this was a quick one this, this week, so we only uploaded a few cars to the website due to being closed since Thursday. I'm sure you've, we've had a lot of phone calls, but there was not much we could do about the winter weather coming through here. Tennessee don't ever get that kind of stuff, so we took advantage of it and stayed at home with our families. All right, guys. So what I'm gonna do after this video is I'm gonna take these cars and do the test drives, point out all the flaws. That way you know exactly what you're getting. So go back through here. Uh, you wanna see cars that are currently available? That's at maplemotors.com. We update that every day when it comes to selling the cars. Some of the stuff doesn't make the website, just like this truck, sold before I could list it. There's a lot of people that'll walk in the lot, see the new cars, they'll go to the back, you know, I can't show every single thing that's not available on maplemotors.com here on YouTube until we list it to the website. So locals do get an advantage. But you can also drive in, come stop by. And we do sell about 20% of the inventory before we list it. Also, don't forget to join us. Um, we're on TikTok, we're on Facebook, we're on Snapchat. And we're on Instagram. And we pretty much update that every day with new content. It's always a different video just to keep things interesting. There's one, one bug I didn't mention right here. It's a 1979 VW convertible. This one's 12.9. That's our gate blocker. Okay, so first things first. I'm gonna go ahead and get ready on the 64 Impala. Check it out, run the numbers on the motor and get all the information I can provide for you. With that being said, hit subscribe, share, hit like, and I'll keep these videos coming your way. Thanks again for watching guys. And wonder where that Chevelle is because I definitely wanna show you that before I log out here. I'm gonna go find it, show you the car. And we'll call it a Monday lot walk. See you in a minute, guys. Okay, so here it is, a 1970 Chevelle. This one's got the LT1 with a six-speed transmission. And also need to figure out the price on this one. Maybe Jason will know right off the top of his head. But I could probably figure it out. It's 44.9. This one here's got disc brakes on the front, drum in the rear, a beautiful paint job. 
dual exhaust out the back. So be sure to check it out on the website. And guys, I do appreciate you watching. I'll see you in the next week's vid videos. Also, uh, in the test drives that I'm going to be completing today for you. So help me out by sharing this video. Hit like, subscribe, and thank you very much for watching. I'll see you later. Bye, guys.